Hi Tacoma, I'm Mrs. Oslin. And I'm Mrs. Wally. Welcome back to TV Classroom. We have been learning all about how to have active listening posture mm -hmm. and all about the challenges that we're learning here. That's right. In Tacoma. The first challenge we've worked on is active listening active posture. Listening. So let's review what that looks like. And every time we say the thing, you're gonna do it. Are you ready? Get your body loose. Eyes watching. Eyes watching. Eyes watching. Ears listening. Ears listening. Ears listening. Voice quiet. Voice quiet. And your body focused. Body focused. Okay. Now, we kind of practiced it as we went, so we, we don't did. need to pause. We're going to use that active listening posture today. Yes. To really focus. So we learned about active listening posture mm -hmm. and why it's important to listen. But how does it help us? How? And, and how do we actually focus and listen? What do we actually do? We, when we say focus, what does that mean? Yeah. Hmm. Well, the first thing you have to do is your voice has to be quiet. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story about Oliver yesterday. Okay. Oliver is learning all about apples and he has learned that apples come from trees. If you notice, Miss Austin's voice is quiet. So she's done the first step. The next thing she has to do is think really hard to stay on focus, stay on focus with what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And so we played with apples yesterday. And guess what Oliver did? It's only two. And he counted five apples and he put them in the bowl. One, two, and picked them up. Three, four, five. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. And then, he, oh, the next part is she has to say it back or ask me questions. And then when I asked him, I said, Oliver, how many apples are there? And he said, there's five apples. So you're saying that he counted apples and he put one in the bag each at a time and then he knew at the end that he was able to count five apples total? Yes. Wow. I was shocked. That was amazing. It was. At any point during that, Miss Oslin, did you have to remind yourself to focus? I did. And I noticed that I started to look away. I noticed too. And then in my mind, I said, focus, Mrs. Oslin, this is important. Did any of you notice your mind wandering away? Oh, it happens. And that's when you have to focus really carefully to stay back on topic. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is find a friend or a stuffed animal, and you're going to practice focusing and paying attention while someone is telling you a story. You're going to have your voice quiet, your brain thinking about what they're talking about. You'll say it back or ask questions and then make sure to tell yourself to focus. If you start to go the other way, press play when you're ready. Okay. Today we learned how to focus. By using active listening posture. Practicing. Saying it back and asking questions. And telling ourselves to focus. Positive self-talk. Always positive. All right, friends, thanks for being with us today, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.